Hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Holly, I'm 20 years old, and according to my birth certificate, I'm a female. It's great to meet you, how you doing? How's your day? Mine is not good at all. <laughs> I'm congested, I have a sore throat, and uh, my nose is running as frickin' hell. But it's fine, because we're here, so <laughs> it's fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Where is here though, you ask? Well, it's New York Fashion Week, of course. Yeah! No! Stop! God! Stop! But I'm poor, so I didn't get invited to the real thing. Instead, I'm hosting it here in my own house. I'm going to be recreating some of the looks with household objects and some of my own clothing items so that I can feel as good as some of the models because um, I'm just that sad. The only things I have to help me are some scissors, a roll of sellotape and a bunch of random objects on the table. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to see what happens, see if I can recreate the looks that I selected. I think they're majestic and wonderful and amazing and so wearable and practical. The first look is one that I shall insert a picture of right here. I think this is probably actually the most sane one I've picked out of all of them. The words are loud and so am I, so I was drawn to it, of course. On mine though, I'm definitely going to put my own spin on it and we're going to make it far more interesting because I'm great like that. To write the words on, I have some paper. To write the words with, I have a Sharpie. And to put it all on, I have a cardigan, which is at the end of the table. It's not orange, but it's a knitted cardigan and it gives the same vibe, so we're gonna go with that. And if you have a complaint, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm done, and I think I have some really great words. I have fanny, like fanny pack. I have sausage, because... I have ass, because I like donkeys. I have swallow, because I like birds. I have moist as a reminder to always stay hydrated <laughs> and I have flaps because that's what flags do in the wind and I'm a patriot so the next thing to do is cut them out and then stick them on. Thing is to put my jumper on, my cardigan on, whatever the frick it is on. And the last one is moist, but I really feel like that's a, that's an accessory piece. The only thing left to do is runway walk.
definitely a look and out of all the ones today I'd say it's probably the most wearable. The next look I have for you guys is this one. This is so functional, so practical, and so amazing for the winter months to come. Unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye to the fabulous cardigan, and it's time to say hello to the fabulous knitted jumper. The easy bit was finding a jumper and a scarf, so I am stealing my sister's jumper, but what's new, I steal all of her clothes. And then the scarf, it's not grey, and it's not like knitted, but it's it's the only one I have so it will work. The bit where I had difficulty was like the bell sleeves. I struggled and then I went into my bedroom and I came to this conclusion. Pillows! Functional, practical, it's gonna be great. Let's do this. Oh. Moist is getting in the way. Today's literally just get foundation all over my sister's clothes day. Swells me. Scott. Excellent. Yes, I am so excited about this look and I'm so excited to wear it on our runway. Yeah! You guys appreciated that because it's hot as balls outside. I was not prepared for that at all. I'm sweating, it's gross. We're going a bit more sophisticated now into something that you could wear in the office. I'm salivating. <laughs> Lingerie being worn over clothes has come into fashion recently and I'm living for it, especially the way this model pulls it off. I think it's so new, so out there, so trendy, and I want to be on trend as well, so we're going to do it. The things we have for this look are a shirt, a blazer, it's sleeveless but it's long, so I don't think it'll be massively a problem, and then a bra. It's not mine, it's my mum's. She was blessed with big boots and I am the queen of the itty bitty titty committee so <laughs> I'm stealing hers sorry mum I'm going to have to undress to redress so let's do that now okay now this is what I came for I'm living for it I'm here for it, and I'm about to runway walk it. Let's do it. We're back with yet another win and I'm so happy with it. It looks fantastic. This look is easy to transition into the next one. Um, we literally have to remove. And that. And then we need these to create this fabulous look. I came up with the duster idea because I'm a genius. I'm still moist. Now all I have to do is secure them. I'm gonna try and do that with tape. Let's runway walk before these fall off because they're trying. Quick, let's go. I 
I um, don't want to talk about it. The final look I have for you today is great. To me, this gives off beanbag vibes and I'm all about comfort, so I don't have anything black and fluffy and, you know, that's what I was all for. So instead, I have a belt, a bin bag and a pillow. We're gonna make it work. So my idea really is to sever the end of the bin bag and... Yes. I am living. It's like I'm nine months pregnant and I don't have to have the baby at the end. With a fantastic final look, it means only one thing. A fantastic runway finish. you this week. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below saying which look was your favourite. Also, if you decide to have a go at making some of the New York Fashion Week looks yourself, then please send me a picture because I think it would be a right giggle. And also, I would love to feature you in next week's video. If you don't know when next week's video is going to be, then hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a post from me in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I will see y'all in next week's video. Thanks honey to bye bye now.